Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me, as always, Alex. Hello. How are you? A little tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You just took a nap before yeah. this, so you should be rejuvenated. A little bit. Did you do that thing in the commercials where you grab a thing of water and just burst it into your face? Like the face wash commercials? No, but no? I, I've tried that before. In, uh, Have you really? Yeah, like if I feel you tired. You've thrown it into your not, face? Oh, well, no, not okay, throw it. All right. I was like, really? No, not I throw it. I, I thought just, I'll, no... I'll like put water on my face and wash my face. Yeah, and I figured yeah, no helps. actual person did that. But you know, like, like, it's so exact. Uh, like, 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 it's just, and it's just. No, the because water, flies cause then the water everywhere. gets everywhere and I got to clean it up. Then, yeah, you got to clean it up. Maybe these people have like house cleaners. They don't care. They got. Yes. Oh, God. I was about to say. <laughs> Oh no! I was about to say Consuela comes and cleans it. That's insanely racist. Oh my god! Back, no, no, back to Superman no here. Superman no here. All right, back to the gaming podcast. We do this is the YouTube Phrase Gaming Podcast, where we've discussed the previous week in gaming. Maybe go over a topic or two if you like that. Please head over to Patreon dot com slash CG Achievers if you like that. But you're a freeloader, don't worry. We are to go over to YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Spotify. Give us all the five stars. Spotify, five spots. Um, uh, the apples have five apples bitten through them. Uh, clouds have five clouds, of course. Everyone knows that. Um, if you like, want to scream at us, check out our socials. Twitter at EVM9000, at CrazyFlipsCreator, at EasyAchievers everywhere else. But before we get into the news, Alex, I have a question. Mm. What you been playing? More Destiny. Yeah, we yeah. rated it for yeah, the first we did. time. Um, How did you like that? We did Last Wish yep. partially, half, about halfway. God. What did you think about it? I, I'm liking it so far. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I like it a lot no. too. Surgery, yeah. Very, it's fun, but my Very God. annoying. If you know Destiny, you know Surgery. I'm sure you know it's yeah. a, a very annoying encounter. But yeah, we did. Other than that, yeah, we played like Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite. So good. Yeah. What do you think so far? We've only, I've Well, I've only played... Five matches, I think. Yeah, I, five sounds right. When I got up mm-hmm. uh, around like maybe nine ish, ten ish, my wife was like, "Hurry up and get on, because okay. we wanted to play Fortnite." I like this. Tell me the story. So I got. I told her I was like, "Man, I got. I had to do some stuff this morning, so mm-hmm. I couldn't get on right away." Okay. Once I got back, I did. We got on, played mm-hmm. a couple matches. And we pretty much played almost all day because right before oh. our, our apartment, our mm. apartment, mm. our appointment. Mm. What do you think? I like it so far. I like mm-hmm. the I like the new map. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the feel for it. I like that you have to mm, discover the locations and mm-hmm. stuff. And I like how every the beginning part started and oh, stuff. Oh, definitely, so, definitely. Yeah. So, so so far, I'm enjoying it. So if you don't know, for roughly 36 hours, if you have logged into Fortnite um, from uh, today past. You were met with a black hole on the screen, just sitting there. Mm. What did you think of that whole badalco? It seemed like it re- did really I feel well. Like Marketing-wise, uh, of course, right? It got everyone to tweet about it, and everyone yeah. looked into it. I'm sure they had a large launch th- today. Mm-hmm. Um, luckily, no server issues that I've seen. There's been no, a few yeah. bugs, of course, but I haven't seen any actual server drops. I heard maybe some PC crashes, but mm. nothing too crazy. I feel like eh, I, I, it was too much. I mean, right. I don't feel like we needed the whole black the black hole the whole time. Mm-hmm. I mean, if anything, just shut the game off. I mean, just to be like, oh, servers are down for for right now, and then I've been fine. I mean, like for the first few hours, mm-hmm. yeah, they've been fine. But then, for, I mean, for a whole thirty six hours, it's just mm-hmm. playing black hole. Yeah. What did you not like about that? Did it build it up too much? It just, eh, no. I mean, I like the black hole, and I I like the event at the end, like with the whole everything that was going mm-hmm. on. But after a while, like I I was sat there for you know for I mean I sat there for like a full hour just mm-hmm. waiting to see if anything would happen, mm-hmm. and then nothing. And then I kept checking back a couple hours later, mm-hmm. nothing. So it kind of like died down. I'm like, eh, I mean, it's I, I I just I just lost interest. Mm-hmm. But then it finally came back. I'm like, all right, finally no black hole now. I can actually play the game. I, so would it have been okay if they state maybe after the fact that. Similar to how Destiny went down for 24 hours before mm-hmm. Shadowkeep launched, that this or some, some sort of similar thing was done, and this was just for a fun thing to add. 
I, an yeah. in-game reason for the server uh, downage. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I feel like they. Because uh, I added assume that for, that's why that's, they did it. Yeah, I don't think they did this for fun. I think no, they did yeah. it because they need. They, they wanted to give an in-game reason why the servers had to be shut off to apply yeah. these to essentially relaunch the game. It seems because the game seems completely different. Yeah, the aesthetic is different. The art style is different. The guns are different. Like almost everything yeah. is different. Mm-hmm. Um, and we can get into the individuals in a second. Um, uh, and you said you. So with the event, specifically mm-hmm. with the black hole, yeah, because we didn't go over much last week, because uh, mm-hmm. well, it didn't happen yet. With the black hole, was it too marketing? What? What? I just want to. I'm just curious on what you didn't like about it. I think it was just too um, underwhelming. Is that what? I, it is? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, like to the point where it got to the black hole, I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. that was cool. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, I waited. I'm like, like sitting there. I'm like, what else? is going on and then i mean sometimes oh you know you'll see the aura of the black yeah, hole you'll see, the, like, you'll see the numbers and the numbers that yeah. was cool mm-hmm. but if that would happen within the hour that would have been fun, just as fine okay but i would just feel like it was waiting too long and i felt okay. like i was kind of let like, down yeah like i was wasting my time a little okay. bit yeah. no they well they, mm, i mean i, I mean uh, they for sure wasted your time in quotes like i they did waste your time because they didn't tell anyone yeah, what was I would, going I mean, on if they would have said something be like hey there's gonna be a, a black hole that's gonna be on there as a uh, as we're using for like to be servers be done I, then i mean like okay then i knew but mm-hmm. we nobody knew nobody mm-hmm. knew nothing well i feel like that came to even the credibility because everyone tweeted about it yeah so i see what you're saying and i actually yeah. would prefer that as well because my girlfriend became a conspiracy theorist the last three days so <laughs> i definitely understand your point of view on that yeah um but I can't disagree with the outcome. They got what they got. What they wanted. Everyone oh, yeah, tweeted yeah. about it. Yeah. Everyone looked at it. Honestly, that yeah. was the most viewed video history, game event of all time. Yeah, it was like it was like four point six, four point two million. I don't remember the numbers. Yeah. I should have it was added 4. it up. Four point something million. Mm-hmm. Is insane numbers. Probably yeah. all, all told, probably six million easily. Yeah. People were watching this one event happening. Yeah. People probably not even interested in games watching the mm-hmm. event. Just curious. They've oh, yeah. heard of Fortnite and they yeah. heard something's gonna happen. The amount of things that i see in that parents are like people are going nuts kids saying crying. the game's it's broken so funny. people are upset that they want their money the kids back. don't understand like that people Fortnite's not gone. just relax it was so funny and it then there so was um, people were scared i they, guess they lost everything they moved lost their money yeah playstation made that tweet yeah they said don't worry your v bucks are safe <laughs> yep um and then i like the konami code thing that was fun yeah you could play the game she uh rebecca loves that as well yeah. i was not I was interested in the event. I was not as interested you guys. Like, I wasn't staring at the black hole. Because yeah. I'm pretty proud of myself. I saw this coming. So when the black hole happened, I was like, it's down till Tuesday. because as soon, So I didn't know that until an hour had passed. Once an hour passed, I'm like, all right, it doesn't go live again until another day. Because it's not going to go live randomly at 6 yeah. p.m. On, on, a, on a Sunday or whatever. Mm-hmm. So then I told her, I was like, it's going to go live Tuesday. And then we got like a little hint and then kind of yeah. leakage and then the trailer leaked and then we knew for sure Tuesday at, I think, what was it, 6 a.m.? Yeah, 7 a.m.? Yep, like 6 a.m. this morning. They re- basically, their server refresh, it went live. Yep. But I uh, I loved the event. Yeah, I loved his strong word. I liked the event, the beginning event, Black Hole. I don't really care about it. It was cool. It was a cool idea. Yeah. And then the actual start of uh, Fortnite was really cool with the coming down and experiencing that whole thing, mm. your first match again. Um, I like that everything is basics again. We have guns, building, mats are even easier, I feel. And then there's mm-hmm. new mechanics like fishing. And uh, you told me there's a way to upgrade guns now. Yes. There's this, there's whole other mechanics that I haven't discovered yet. And it's cool to rediscover things in a yeah, game that's been like out It just for... feels fresh and new. And mm-hmm. I, I, that's why I'm enjoying it so mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. Very like, excited. Yeah, like tonight, we're going to play Iron Banner. But that's I kind of want to play Fortnite me too, also. Me too. Me you too. Know, I want to hit the challenges because I yeah. haven't done a single challenge yeah. fully yet. I just I need to finish them too. So, you know, the the Fortnite bug might have bit us back. Alex, mm. you know what just popped in my head? What? <laughs> raw, 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 raw. <laughs> you know, Lady Gaga. Uh-huh. Speaking of Lady Gaga. <laughs> Uh, Lady Gaga asked what Fortnite was, and the internet answered. Oh, this is over on Colin Stevens by IG, and Lady Gaga, the musician, artist, performance artist, Oscar, Emmy, Grammy winner, and woman responsible for getting bad romance stuck in your head since 2009. Was that bad romance I just saying? Uh, yes. It was? Yeah. Okay. I, I, yep. okay. Uh, uh, I has to think about her, it for a second. What Fortnite is, and the internet responded beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> She's uh, literally a tweet. What's Fortnite? 
<laughs> and misspelling aside, because she, she spells it Fortnite as proper, Fort, yeah. yeah, and Night as in N I G H T. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the uh, and internet immediately knew what she was referring to and jumped in on the fun. Fans predicted this was a clue that Gaga would drop new music in two weeks. LG Six refers to Lady Gaga's upcoming sixth studio item, and IGN even managed to get a couple of fun responses in too. Here's what internet told Fortnite was. Uh, this is one of the things. The length of my longest relationship. <laughs> Some of these are hilarious. <laughs> IGN sounds like you had a bad romance. And then Netflix chimed in with Florida with health bars. <laughs> Twitter gaming came in with, it's the art pop of video games. <laughs> I don't know who some of these people are, but Sam Stryker. It's another word for two weeks, a.k.a. the longest we should have wait for the lead single to LG6. Jesus. Twitch, we have some friends that can show you, which is the lamest one of all of these. Mm-hmm. Uh, John Laterola just says, let's play. Hmm. And that's it. Oh, that's, and then just says, call up. me. <laughs> I'll give you a million reasons to play, you and I. Oh, this is fun. And that's just a little fun thing that happened. For whatever reason, she just asked what, what Fortnite was. And I love that she misspelled it, of course, purposely. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Uh, but nice. That was really cool. Alex, I want to start the episode off with a fun, lighthearted, mm-hmm. and then go into the real terrible stuff. Oh, God. We're going to switch gears to gamesinterest.biz. Mm. Mr. Brian Sinclair writes, Blizzard, Chinese interest, quote, had no influence on British Chung's ban on friday evening blizzard entertainment president j allen brack released a statement in response to a week of ongoing criticism from players developers and even politicians over its decision to ban pro hearthstone player chung blitz chung ingwe i'm so sorry blitz chung <laughs> and strip him of earned prize money for supporting hong kong protesters in a post-match interview this week. Quote, our esports program are an expression of our vision and our values, Brock said. Esports exists to create opportunities for players from all around the world, from different cultures and from different backgrounds, to come together to compete and share their passion for gaming. It is extremely important for us to protect these channels and the purpose they serve, to bring the world together through epic entertainment, celebrate our players, and build diverse and inclusive communities, end quote. Given the enormous success Activision Blizzard has enjoyed in mainland China and nearly 5% ownership stake Chinese gaming giant Tencent owns in the publisher, the publish in the punishment handed down for Blitzchung has largely been interpreted as a way to avoid threatening the company's Chinese business interests in its statement. Blizzard insisted this wasn't the case. Quote, the specific views expressed by Blitzchung were not a factor in the decision we made, Breck said. I want to be clear, our relationships in China had no influence in our decision. We have these rules to keep the focus on the game and on the tournament to the benefit of a global audience. And that was the only consideration in the actions we took. If this had been an opposing viewpoint delivered in the same diverse and deliberate way, we would have felt and acted the same. End quote again. Despite that, Blizzard did reduce the punishments with Brock saying that, quote, in hindsight, our process wasn't adequate and we reacted too quickly, Brock said. But Shung would receive the prize money he had earned after all, and his ban from the Hearthstone Pro Circuit has been reduced from one year to six months. Quote, there is a consequence for taking the conversation away from the purpose of the event and disrupting or derailing the broadcast, Brock said, after detailing the le- uh, lesson, lesson penalties. penalties. Thank you, Alex, for the assist there. As for the broadcasters, those dastardly broadcasters who were interviewing Blitzstring, Blizzard initially severed ties to them, but Brock said the company is suspending them for six months instead because, quote, their purpose is to keep the event focused on the tournament. And that didn't happen in this case. Quote, moving forward, we will continue to imply tournament rules to ensure our official broadcasts remain focused on the game and are a platform for a divisive social or political views, Brock said. One of our goals at Blizzard is to make sure that every player everywhere in the world, regardless of political views, religious beliefs, race, gender, or any other consideration, always feel safe and welcome both competing and playing in our games. Blizzard may have trouble keeping focus on games when the company's annual blizzcon begins november 1st that is in about three weeks Mm. and kutaku themselves reported today on multiple process groups planning action around the show (sighs) so they took five days i believe it has been to make a statement Mm -hmm. and the statement is a circle i believe that does not state clearly why they banned the gentleman. Why it happened, yeah. And I'm going to reiterate, because of course they do explain that, but I mean, they did not officially express the ban of a year with his money taken. Mm -hmm. Also, the commenters getting a year banned. Why that happened when one of their mottos 
is every voice matters mm. and like unite the world. Also, in his statement, he says one of our goals at Blizzard is to make sure that every player everywhere in the world, regardless of political views, religious beliefs, race, gender, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And he still says, you shouldn't have done that. Now, I get it, right? The only reason we're behind Mr. Blitzchung here is because he says something we liked. Mm-hmm. If a white supremacist got up there, said some terrible things about some terrible things, we'd want him suspended. So I do understand they have to play this weird middle ground of, look, just because you said something good doesn't mean you get, because that's not what this is for. So, like, we still have to punish you. But it is obvious that Chinese influence was a part. Now, I don't think someone from China called them and said, you have to ban these people. Mm -hmm. I think them reacting so quickly actually got China to look at it, whereas I doubt anyone from China would have even paid attention if this happened. And I don't even think the uh, reaction would have been as bad if they just said, hey, we're taking 10% of your prize winnings and you're banned for six months originally Mm -hmm. and just letting it go. What are your thoughts, Alex? Um, I so, I feel like they're just, they're just uh, like you said, just running in a circle and mm. trying to like not say the wrong thing. Right. No, there. He's definitely got this vetted a thousand times, and it's still a terrible statement. It's still yeah. terrible. But I guess they are hoping this is fine. And yeah, moving on to kinda, another story, yeah. real quick. Blizzard did cancel the Overwatch event that was supposed to happen in three days at Nintendo of America, New York. So there is obvious repercussions from this event that they're too, they're, they're terrified, I'm sure, mm-hmm. from demonstrations and protests and all this, that they were like, look, we're canceling the event too. And I guess they're hoping this is all meld over when BlizzCon comes. Yeah. Because I'm sure they have plenty of announcements they want to get out yep. without... Ch- hearing chant free Hong Kong. Yeah, because I was gonna say, as you see, they ha- they said that they have people probably working on stuff already. Already, yeah. so I'm th- and f- they're for sure coming. They they you're not stopping oh, yeah. that unless they have a full on apology and say, look, we're we're back in Hong Kong in this or something. I don't know, or just do a full apology that's better than this, whatever you want to call this. Yeah, I think I've said my piece, Alex. Are you confident you yeah. said your piece? All right, we'll move on, but that. I will let the audience determine what they think of that themselves. Me personally, I don't think that was handled well at all. But moving on to Google Stadia. Google Stadia is back in the news. Their Founders Edition release date was revealed. This is over on IGM by an Adam Bankers. Google has announced that the Google Stadia Founders Edition will be available beginning at November 19th, 2019. That's soon. Next month. Very soon. Next month, almost to the day. A month and yep. four days. Review during Made by Google 2019. Those who pre-ordered the Google Stadia's Founder Edition will be able to play such titles as Red Dead Redemption 2, Mortal Kombat 11 on their TV, laptop, desktop, and certain phones and tablets on November 19th, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. BST, and 6 p.m. CET. I don't know what most of those are. Google Stadia's Founder Edition and the Google Stadia Premier Edition will both begin shipping in the same order that pre-orders were received. Shortly after Stadia packages begin shipping, those who pre-order will receive a code to activate their Stadia account and Stadia Pro. Alex, what do you think about that controller? Oh, no, I like the controller. Yeah? The yeah. D-pad looks wonky. It, it, it looks like um, the Pro Controller and the... Gosh, which one is it? PlayStation. No, 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 no. Um, the the one the Oya the Ouija. Really, Oya? You it remember like that an Oya controller? No, Ka- does it really? I, I haven't right. seen an Oya controller in a long time yeah, since that it, thing it was had, announced. It looks like a mix between that. Jesus, you guys remember the Oya? That was a garbage flame, a burned for years. I remember when people talked about that, and people were so excited. Mm. I was like, "This is not going to do it." And I was a child, mind you. I think I was a oh God. What was this? Oya was what two thousand seven. Is that right? 2007? I think it was. What? Oh, yeah. I thought... Uh, no, it wasn't 2007. No, no, yeah, right. It was a couple, it was a couple years ago. 2000. Remember, we were... 10 or 11, right? Yeah. Here 2010 or 11. How, how right. would you spell that again? Oh, yeah. was O-U-Y-A. Y-A. Oh, yeah. That's what it was. And I remember Ouya was on the, uh, the controls, I believe. It was O-U-Y-A. It's just a way, I don't know why, but it made me think about it. God. It does look a lot like it, actually. That's actually kind of weird. Yeah. It's too skinny. 
Yeah, that's my thing. Yeah, it's too skinny, but it doesn't look like that. Yeah. Good lord, oh yeah. I, I mean, remember I was excited because of how small it was. No, I was yeah. a kid and I thought that was just really cool. Um, do you remember the purpose of that thing? That was to play Android games. Yeah. What's the who? Who can't like? Can you imagine the guy coming up with that? What? How many do you think Macs they sold? Fifty thousand, uh, maybe. Oh God, the Ouya's. Yeah, uh, probably fifty thousand. I'd say. Let, pro- they didn't hit. Oof, and they probably did hit triple digits, but but barely. I say maybe a hundred ten thousand. <laughs> that that is. Yeah, I don't feel like it did much. Good Lord. Moving on, Google City. Uh, very cool. Is shipping so soon? Very mm-hmm. cool that um, uh, no delay. Yeah. Curious on how bare bones this will be. Of course, it will be bare bones because this is kind of like a beta in yeah. a sense. Um, but I'm interested on how smooth it will run because we haven't seen it. We've only seen it in the wild, that very original beta test. You remember that? Mm-hmm. The very original one where people were playing it on their Chromebooks it, and stuff. Yeah, it I was remember a, that. playing Odyssey, Assassin's was, Creed Odyssey, Odyssey yeah. on just a browser, which is wild. Just yeah. running it on nothing. So excited. I'm yeah. still thinking about getting it. Huh? Yeah. Um, so just yeah, to, just to mess will, around with it. Yeah, I think they had... Um, Announced it at that uh, the Google the Google event because mm-hmm. they had showed off the Pixel and then the news and I was hoping they'd show off the watch but I didn't see the watch. But that's all the phone. That's not real, right? With the watch? No, sorry, not. I don't mean it's not real. Is is it not? Uh, like, do you think it's a like for sure rumor or you think it was just um, like made I will, up? I will. I was the thing that I was reading. It says that it was um that there's a there they have plans of a watch coming out the same time as the phone. But I just I haven't seen it. All right, I don't know if they have one. I have I haven't look, gone and looked for it. Okay, so, yeah, you, so okay, so you, like there's I, plans. The article, yeah, there's plans. You on just don't one, know when. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah I all can see all that of, the, uh, the from the article that I read a couple of days ago, all it said is that they're uh, they have plans of coming out with a watch, the Google Pixel Watch, at the same time as the Google hilarious Pixel 4. they run Stadia on that. <laughs> <laughs> just just to make fun of like, look, it runs on the watch. Yeah, right. That, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> and people be like, what, really? And people in meetings just playing Assassin's Creed on the watch. <laughs> they, you, you, uh, like, you swipe yeah. to, swipe left, <laughs> swipe right, or something. <laughs> Oh, uh, moving on. That is it for the news. We're recording really early, so not too too much has happened. Um, but we're gonna close it out with a segment. <clears throat> and I thought of this idea from a great tweet a while ago from Mr. Ryan McCaffrey, um, where he was having a conversation, and they were theorizing on the ex- uh, th- uh, next gen launch titles. Mm. So since we know Xbox much better than PlayStation, Alex, okay. I want to start with Xbox. All right, no. Let's start on PlayStation. We can uh, end with Xbox. Yeah. PlayStation. Okay. PS5. Mm-hmm. We know the specs. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we yeah. went over that last week. Yep. What does it launch with, right? Easy things, right? Call mm-hmm. of Duty, right? Mm-hmm. Call of Duty's going to be on. Yeah, because it's going to... Yeah, because, I mean, it, okay. Well, now we got to think about release date is next year. Right. November next year. And you know what? Our holidays, let's say. Cause on, it, but normally it's November. I'm going to start a little thing. Here. There go. So, PS5. No. So and November normally things we know because October usually is Call of Duty. We're so I mean they might pull off to the fr- the November or you'll just there'll probably be a bundle a Call of Duty bundle with that I, system. I don't think there'll be any bundle. You don't think so? No, no, no. I, I don't think we've ever had a bundled the launch launch system uh, in a long time. I thought they no, had one no, with the Xbox One. Uh, they had one with the Xbox One. Yeah, they had you no. get um no I didn't. You sh- really? Oh. I thought that was one. Five hundred bucks, you get the Xbox One and a Connect, and, and you didn't connect. get a game with it. Oh, okay, I remember vividly. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I remember. Yeah. I was at no, I remember a GameStop. No, yeah, I, I remember because I it game. wasn't my actual one. I always went to. It's just they didn't have any, so I had to go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, on base. So that's all I'll say. See, I had to I, go on base to get that. I, one. I had to go to the another store, not on base, but mm-hmm. another another yeah, town. different one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To yeah. get mine, I had to like finagle to get mine, but I got it. And it's crazy because I got mine two months later of release, and no one had them. I had got it for my birthday. I got it. Oh, it, really? Yeah, because it came out in or it came out what in November, right? Mm-hmm. I got mine in December, November fifteenth. Yeah, it was? I got mine a couple weeks later because mm. I didn't have. I could PS4, or Xbox One, Xbox One, Xbox One. Yeah, that's right. I got it on my birthday. So What's like, the date of PS5? The date? Mm-hmm. It's November for sure. Uh, Let's see if we can nail it to a day, and then we look like geniuses when it when it when it happens. Now, I need a calendar for that. I'm, I'm bringing up a calendar right now. Okay. November 2020. All right. November 2020. Okay. So give me the give me the, the teens week. So, like okay, what? The, oh, so you think of teens. Okay. I'm so teens. we're starting teens 12th Thursday. Okay. 
so 13th friday mm-hmm. 16th monday 17th tuesday so this thing's launching on thursday friday tuesday i think i'm thinking tuesday i'm thinking tuesday so the 17th yep mm. i'm thinking mm. that i'm thinking that week hmm have you noticed a lot of things like that the mid teens week this year? Disney Plus is on the twelfth, Stadia on the nineteenth. Next year, how? Or actually, when PS4 and Xbox came out, what days were those? Because I think they were one of them a week were, apart. Okay, because Xbox I, I remember that. was the seventh. So uh, PlayStation was the fourth. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the X. Xbox One X was November seventh. The original Xbox One. I mean. Uh, what I want to say the fourteenth. I don't know why. What's it? I don't know if it's Xbox One. Yeah, check check the actual release date. Release date. I'm thinking, I'm thinking you're right. I don't think they released the same week. So November, whoever November twenty second was Xbox One, and that was does it say the day by chance? November twenty second, twenty thirteen. Uh, no, look at, oh, God, I don't me. remember the day though. Was it Tuesday? Or was it a Friday? I'm checking. I don't remember. November. I feel like it was a Tuesday. Twenty second, twenty. But uh, with PS five. It's important on who announces their release date for first because you either go before or after that person. It was you a don't Friday. go the same day. It was Friday. I thought okay, mm-hmm. it was a Friday. I didn't have school the next week, so I, I didn't remember. Um, but whoever goes first mm-hmm. goes before or after. I'm thinking you're right with that November 17th for PS5. Question is, does Xbox come out and say we come? We're coming out November 13th or the 10th mm. to try and beat them, or do they okay. push back a week? Good. Because I think Xbox goes, all right, fam, we're going out the week before. Yeah. Because I could see a November 13th on a Friday. You get that second week. You're, that's right ar- That's right around. Like, it, they're hitting before Black Friday, for mm-hmm. sure. Right? Yeah, and see. Black um, Friday is the 20th. And see, it was November 15th for PS4. Oh, yeah. So a week after, right? A week. It was before. A week before. Um, November fifteen was PS4. November twenty second was Xbox. Oh, you're Xbox right. was a no, week yeah, after. You're right. It was a week after. That's right. Yep. So, I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking they go bold with November thirteenth on a Friday. PS5 goes. I agree with you with the November seventeenth. Mm. So five days apart. <laughs> They're going before Black Friday. I feel yeah, like Black Xbox Friday. What do, day is it on? It should be the twentieth. Right? Is it twentieth? Yeah. Isn't it the third third December for Thanksgiving? And then I thought it's... it was the the last Thursday. Is it? That makes more sense. So the twenty sixth and then twenty seventh for Black Friday. Yeah. Okay. So either way, they'll make it. Actually. Whenever Thanksgiving is, it's, Whenever, it's yeah, yeah. the last. Should day. be the. You're right. Actually, I don't know what yeah. I'm thinking. I'll get my wife. <laughs> um. But anyways, I'm think I'm thinking Alex is probably right. As long as long as they hit Black Friday, they're they're fine. I th- now with the launch lineup, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting Horizon Zero Dawn to for sure, yes, for sure, right? We're getting that for sure. What? Now, I've heard some crazy people go Spider Man Two. I can't get behind Spider Man Two. That's way too soon. We're getting that second, third year for sure, but we're not getting Spider Man Two so soon. We're, I was discussing with the audience, Horizon mm-hmm. Zero Dawn Two is for sure launch title. You think I so? am a hundred percent sure. We haven't seen anything sure. yet, though. A hundred. We're not going to. We're going to see that the What's PS5 it? launch event, like their release event. Oh. You know, when they show it off. The yeah, system. we show it off. Like, all right, here's the games, and then Horizon Zero Dawn run, run out with their bow, shoots the bow, and then eats this robot. That was Horizon Zero now, Dawn. Right? <laughs> the show. I, I, w- did we agree on if we're, if they're going to show it at PSX? Yeah, I agree. Okay, PSX of this year. Yeah, because that's the, it. Has, still hasn't happened yet, right? Right. Okay. It usually happens in November. Okay. Yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It happens before a game. We have to see something. If not E three, because they have to be at E three next year. It's not like they'll be like, no, we're not going to do E three again. There's no way. You think they're not going to be at E three? Look, Sean Layden's left. <sighs> Shuhei Yoshida can and do whatever he wants. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. We, have, we still don't know anything about that. We won't. He's good. He he. They he's didn't. Gone. They didn't part on great terms. They part are probably on good terms, not great. Mm. He's probably going somewhere else. He's going to either Google. If Google copped him, he's getting a lot of money. Good for him. Um. Anyways, back back to this. Uh. Yeah. So launch event. We're getting the launch event for everything. We're seeing everything before January. Okay. Or around that, like fall point, spring point. You know for what I mean? Like PlayStation, right? Both. I, 
Uh, Xbox, I don't, I don't think we'll see it till next E3. Really? Yeah. I, did, I see. I think you see do, it earlier do, than do, that because you have a special event. You invite you're press. About, you're talking about EXO? No. Like, no, no, no. I'm thinking. I'm talking. It's a main event. The same thing that happened well, last they don't, gen. They don't, I was about to say they don't have a big Current main event. Gen, sorry. No, 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 no. They just make an event. Oh. It's a call. It's just a press event. They secretly invite press. Mm-hmm. You get. An, you just get an invitation. It says you're going to be here at this point for an Xbox briefing. You can't. You're NDA'd up the wazoo. You cannot say you're going to be anywhere. Mm-hmm. So everyone goes. Press goes, and then day of. Or day before it gets announced that's happening, people start to post some pictures of when they get there, and mm-hmm. then that day, boom, PS5, Xbox One, all that gets released. Now, I'm saying this, and I'm downing this PlayStation experience thing. Mm-hmm. I think we're getting teaser. I don't think they're showing us the system. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think we're showing. I, us I the think system. though, uh... which I did think we were going, but now I feel like we're not in a place because they just announced the release date. Which why I announced that. Why announce that if you're having a PlayStation experience in a, in a month? Yeah. Right, in their span. So if they do it, why announce that, right? So I feel like we're maybe getting a teaser. It's going to be like that Xbox thing where it's like artistic. They mm-hmm. have like the like the, the, the designers saying, oh, it's we, we're ambitious with this. <laughs> like it's just mm-hmm. a bunch of buzzwords thing. And then we might get... I don't know. They're not really into like project stuff, so it's probably just gonna maybe be they'll PS5. Watch, maybe they'll show a gameplay of a game, like for example, like Last of Us, and be like, "This is running awesome. on the next system." That'd be awesome. I don't think they will, but that'd be awesome yeah. if they do something. Last of Us Two. Yeah, that's oh, what I'm saying. God, yes, that'd be so cool. Yeah, but I don't um, think so because that makes that would make the PS4 one look bad, and that game's about a release. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's cool. so. Yeah, you because that makes people go look at this compared to or this. They can and just like, show why more, would I buy it? Or that, or they could show more of a new game like Ghost of Tsushima. They haven't shown. No, I can see that, and yeah, they still say that's a PS4 game now. What? So they they haven't given context to this. They just say, yeah, it's a PS4 game. Oh, Does he mean cr- like <laughs> it? It's going to release on oh, PS4 no, and PS5. Two, yeah. No. Now, what I'm saying is, of course, right? Yeah. That. In, like I'm, I was trying to indicate. All right, when he says it's a PS4 game, we're not getting that before the system releases, right? No, I don't think we're getting no. Ghost of Tsushima next year, and if we are, it's a launch title. Yeah, best case scenario, it's a launch. Yeah, title. no, I think we'll get it. Or oh, okay, let me see. Best case scenario for me, is, launch is November 2020. We might get it March 2021. Maybe. Wow. Okay. So you're not Maybe. saying that's barely launch window. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. Well, because what else are they gonna have for launch? They haven't showed anything else. I Horizon. Mean, that's why they have to have E3 this year or next year. Why have E3 when you have these state of plays? Which, to be fair, on, and to your defense, mm. their state of plays have not been crazy. The only, E3. The, the latest event. one was the best one. So far. and that's because it was the, the Last of Us event. Yeah. That's it. I well, didn't even, care about anything else before yeah. that. Yeah. Well, even then, I, I mean, anything. there's some big. There's there were some new newer newer games. No, stuff, I mean there was cool stuff, but I didn't care about it as much as Last of Us. Oh, God, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, that's just the downside of having something like that where it's so good. Yeah. Everything else, you know, I don't even remember. Like, I remember that weird humanity game. Mm-hmm. I remember. That's. I think that's it. <laughs> I don't remember anything else. <laughs> I think they showed off. Yeah, they showed off Medieval. Uh. Yeah, because there was a demo and that, then some other stuff. <laughs> but uh, exactly though, you get so amazed by the key mark that you don't remember anything else, and it's just to everyone's detriment. Yeah. We're getting lost in the weeds. Let's I, go back to to. So you're so you're saying we'll have an event, just random, and we'll get the, random. We'll, we'll we're get, not gonna know. We'll get it. We'll get info about it just random, pretty much. Yes, we won't know. Press will know yeah, probably about saying. a three four days in advance. So they can fly out. I'm going to say we'll see the systems at E3. <sighs> they do this too every late. time. No, they don't. They didn't they do did this w- for 2013. Huh? They didn't do this last gen. Did they, they didn't show their I systems they did. off. They had special events, just like I'm saying. They they invited press out um, no, for both occasions. They did show off the system at E3. I agree with you on that. I thought they just, I thought they sh- uh, like at the E3, right before the system launched, they had to wear like Xbox One. Uh, what's it called? Day day one edition. How much it is? Yes. And then release date. Yes. Yeah. So they g- give you all that stuff. Yeah. But they had a release. They had a release event before that, didn't they? Mm. Can you Google around for yeah. me? Yeah. Because I don't f- I remember might be that. Thinking of multiple events. 
because i mean they hinted at it it was like uh it wasn't it called uh well i'm thinking of the x yeah you're thinking scorpio. of x, the scorpio well, i mean even with the scorpio they had hinted at one but then but they showed it diff- off at e3 no, 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 but that's different i feel Okay. That is an established system you can wrap your head around. Like basic audience can wrap their head around. This is the, this is an upgrade. So we're hyping everyone up with a release with the trailer. This is a brand new system. I feel like you have a an event dedicated to why you should buy this and what are the pluses, what are the minuses. Because if you remember, I'm positive now. Because if you remember, Alex, when they did the Call of Duty, Call of Duty TV, 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 mm-hmm. uh, that that week they everyone tore them apart. For the DMCA thing, mm-hmm. when they when they had to when you figure out you always had to be online. It says Xbox One. When, I, I typed in when was Xbox One announced? May twenty first, twenty thirteen. Yeah, that was in so in May. Yeah, so I, that was a month. That was a month before. Okay, yeah, yeah. So they had a personal event, and I look up PS Four. I bet that's around roughly at the same time. Roughly. Uh, let's see. But I do think we're getting these press events just like we did last gen. We're getting these weird, like, hey, you're, you're going to find out, like, day before what's happening. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. PS4. One was PS4. Was it like I said, ladies and gentlemen, Horizon Zero Dawn for sure. Number two is coming out. Launch. We're probably getting some... I'm going to literally put weird PlayStation game because they like doing those things similar to the beautiful Concrete Genie game that just came out. The beautiful Concrete Genie game. Do we get a... Uh, do you remember Shadowfall? Uh, was it Resistance Shadowfall? No, it was Killzone. Killzone Shadowfall. Remember Killzone Shadowfall? Mm-hmm. That's Gorilla. Yeah. But Gorilla's, Gorilla's doing Horizon Zero Dawn. They're not making another one of those. Uh, let's see... Yeah, so it was in it was uh yeah weird art. It was in weird February where they announced the the PS4. February twenty uh eighteen. Yeah, so they had special events. Or excuse I, me, I think the same thing is happening for this. Now let's get to PS5 release. That's what the audience is craving. They're like, shut up. We all know this. Blah yeah. blah. Let's get to the let's get to the juice. Right. I'm hearing crazy stuff of Spider Man Two. There's. For sure not happening, if you ask me. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I, there's but, no way. Yeah, I think it's too early for that. To be fair, people were saying, well, you have the engine already. Mm-hmm. So it's pre-built. Like, oh, like, what if we get that? I don't think I don't think so. I'm just saying that's cool. Probably in we, two, three years into the system, we're probably getting Spider-Man 2. God of War? No. Okay. They said, because uh, when, uh, when God of War, the remake, uh, God of War... They said it then it took them year uh, five, five years, years to make, but they had to build the engine. Yeah, no, no, two no, of yeah. those years they was said, just for the. They engine. said the next one you won't uh, you won't it will, it will probably take three years, because I remember I was li- yeah, it was yeah, an interview with, with Corey and he was saying something about it. I was like oh yeah we won't take as long with the next one of course uh, so it'll probably be maybe uh, three years. I, yeah three years. So, yeah, that's yeah. probably improbable too, and you don't want to bludge up it with first parties. Yeah. So I'm gonna I mean, go honestly, ahead and- I'm not. I won't be surprised because okay, God of War was twenty seven. Was twenty eighteen? Right. Yeah. Twenty eighteen. Twenty. God, I forgot already. Should be twenty eighteen. Yeah, right? twenty eighteen. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. Uh, here, God. I'm I'm putting Call of Duty Black Ops Five. That is an easy win. <laughs> Just putting that because we all know that's coming out now. This it was leaked. So. Oh, was it really? So basically, the so Raven was making a game. Mm-hmm. You know, Raven, the fantastic studio that doesn't yeah, get yeah, to do yeah, anything yeah. other than make Mac packs. They were making a game, and I guess Activision didn't like where it was going, so they pulled their project altogether, gave it to Treyarch, mm-hmm. to make Black Ops Five. Mm. originally it was going to be a raven made whatever it is called and may maybe it was bad but i want to see a raven game it's been oh, i think it's been like 10 years since they've released a game or something like that something mm. insane and they they are literally stuck on map packs all the time and that is a great studio that should be working on something so yeah call of duty black ops 5 like i said weird art playstation game horizon zero dawn 2 what else i want um what's a first what's a first party game i'm missing Infamous. Oh, sucker punch! But they're making Ghost of Tsushima. I wish. Man. Maybe they. Maybe they're in two maybe teams. The, like we can. Maybe we a can remaster. Press. They haven't done. A I remaster. forgot. Alex, I forgot. Blue Point mm-hmm. is. Remember uh, when they announced all the specs? Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, they brought up Blue Point. And Blue Point announced that they were working on on a huge game mm-hmm. for PS Five. Okay. And they didn't say. I don't think they said if it was a launch or not. But it's they had a huge game. Okay. What do you think that entails? 
Like, all right, I'm putting Blue Point Game as launch title. Yeah, because I mean, Blue, I don't know what it is. Blue Point, or like, what has Blue Point Pe- done? People have be- Blue Point. Sorry, uh, Blue. Uh, for, uh, thank you for asking, because maybe some audience. I'm I'm speaking jargon that maybe not all of our audience members know. Blue Point is behind the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection. Oh. Um, they are really good at remaking games. So They're they good at remade. Yeah, remasters. they did. Uh, they did the um, Shadow of the Colossus remake. They yep. are very, very good and very talented at remastering and rewriting code for different systems. So, gotcha. like I said, they did that for Shadow of Colossus, Uncharted. Uh, Nathan Drake collection and I believe some other things I off the top of my head I don't yeah. remember but very good studio and they're working on a remake for a big game now I've heard Metal Gear thrown around from fans of course mm-hmm. right I don't think that's happening Alex mm. because this is an unconfirmed and they said big game everyone basically attaches whatever they like to it right yeah my bias is sweet <laughs> <laughs> you and the sweet <laughs> they're remaking it and if that's true i'm gonna lose my mind but it's not happening because konami would do that yeah. but that would be amazing now playstation exclusive remake go what 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 inf- like infamous so, is the only thing i can think of they did my uh playstation all-stars battle royale wasn't there a rumor about there's gonna be a second one there was <sighs> You're so right. There was a rumor. Because they did. Uh, cause Do they, you believe this rumor? Did, yes. It d- yes. I'm going to give it to PlayStation. They're crazy enough to do it. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> yeah, because they have Shadow of the Colossus, Uncharted Collection, Gravity Rush Remastered, Flower, Titanfall. Oh, wow. They made Flower. PlayStation All, uh, All-Stars Battle Royale, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection, the Ico and Shadow of the Colossus Collection, yeah. God of War Collection, and Blast Factor. Out of all of that, PlayStation All-Stars is what hits me. So I think they, I think, and I remember that 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 rumor about two. I think it's gonna be that. But they said they're remaking a game. They didn't say they were doing a new title, a new IP. I, th- I thought the, all, the, all they said is that they're coming out with something big. Not, you not, know what? They didn't look say, up I, that quote for me. Here. Look up that quote now. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do a quick um, overview. So if you don't know what PlayStation All Star is, because no one does, PlayStation All Star game was a re- uh, released on the Vita and PS4. It was basically Super Smash Brothers for PlayStation characters. Smash Brothers is that game where all the Nintendo Garys get together and fight each other, and you get to be Kirby fighting uh, Mario or, or Yoshi fighting Princess Peach. Just wild stuff that you know, just for fun. But PlayStation made a version of that. It was a inferior version to Smash Brothers. Um, it was a complete ripoff, of course, because the, and I don't I honestly have a problem with that. They should have ripped it off, but they didn't rip it off enough, in my opinion, because they had these weird mechanics to where you had to get them to a high percentage similar to smash brothers but you can only beat them if you did like a special move if you got your special meter up higher it was very strange and not that good but if they it was fun for a while yeah but it wasn't smash so like no, if you're, course, i say if I mean... you're ripping off smash rip off smash and make smash again like and i get it you don't want to do that because it feels gross so i'm sure they had the choice and just said we're not doing that we're gonna try and make a different game and see if it works mm-hmm but it obviously didn't work out for them, so whatever. And, of course, to note, PS5 will be backwards compatible fully for PS4, so any uh, physical games, I assume you could just install them. They haven't gone into that, but I don't see why you wouldn't. And also digital games. Digital games as well will be playable on the system, so you can just boot up PS5, look at your digital games, boom, 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 start playing. Mm. All right, uh, let's see. This is by US Gamer. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's, that, what's that quote? What's that quote? Let's see. It says, Blue Point Games, the master behind Shadow of the Colossus remake, teases big PS5 title. Uh, when Sony confirmed the PS5's name and additional details to, wa- details to Wired, it didn't show off any in-development titles for the system. The closest thing we have to bona fide PS5 game announcement is a hint from Marco Thrush, a president of Blue Point Games. Blue Point makes... Makers of 2018 Shadow of the Colossus remake is working on a big one for PS5 that could be a new remake they teased shortly after Shadow's release. All Thrush close to well, Wired, uh, Wired's Peter Rubin is that the Blue Point is working on a big one right now for, uh, for the PS5. I'll let you figure the route the rest. Thrush adds, in March 2018, Thrush told our sister site Eurogamer that Blue Point would move on to another remake post Shadow of the Colossus. We're really excited about our next project, and we think you'll be able to find out what it what it is," said Thrush. So, at let's see. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Let's see. Interesting. Uh, let's see. At the at the time, Thrush confirmed that Bluepoint was looking to grow on the art side after expanding the th- Shadow of the Colossus, adding the studio's next remake is a bit bigger. So bigger of- than Shadow of Colossus, which no offense to Shadow of Colossus is not like an like a huge game. Well, no, it's, but it, like but it, the map is kind of big. No, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, like, yeah. Not, that is a huge map. I'm not trying yeah, to take yeah, away, yeah. but I'm saying. If it being huger, there's a lot of empty space. So I'm saying like there maybe was it's a, a rumor sometime. Like I remember, uh, it was a couple months ago, and I just saw it again that there was a rumor that there was a remaster for Demon Souls. Yeah, there was a that's, thing. You know what? I'm literally like, that's it. Yeah, that, that's what that's that's what it is. Yeah, it's probably a, Demon Souls. Yeah, because it's. Uh, let me see if I can refine that one. Uh, let's see. What are you saying? It's a leak or a rumor? Let me see. Uh, where where did it go? God, that sounds that makes sense. That makes it was in March and it was by Eurogamer because uh, Uh, they said they're done with those type of games. Maybe they want to see if they can re re like re innovate the game with Demon Souls. They try to re release the game, see if they get a new audience. Maybe they play more Bloodborne. A lot lot of influences other things. Yeah, well, because I mean, if they honestly, if they remake Demon Souls, get them in the hype again, Bloodborne two. Could probably be a big release. That's it. You know what? You're thinking marketing, and I love it, Alex. You you set up this. Yep. Get people more interested in these type of games, and like, look, we got Bloodborne two coming out in two years. Yep. And then you, similarly around that time, like, hey, remember Demon Souls? This is really really like, and it's by the same person who made the other game. So maybe you'll like this too. Yep. Um, I don't know. That would be awesome. And do you think there'll be a Bloodborne two? Is that a type of game you think gets a yes. second release? Okay. If, if 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 Dark Souls got three of them. I think Bloodborne will to get a sequel. Well, I'm just curious on if the studio would do it. Now, I know this um, was done first party. Do yeah. they? Uh, who owns IP? I assume PlayStation does. For, so I guess they. I guess they can make uh, for Bloodborne. Oh. So I guess they have any every right to it. And, and of course, they own Demon Souls, so they can do whatever they want to. So I'm assuming they own Bloodborne as well, because PlayStation does really mess with things that aren't theirs. So mm. they'll probably stick with uh, the IP as well. It's a uh, publisher's S- uh, Sony Interactive Japan Studio. Okay. Yeah. 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 And uh, developers from software. Okay. That doesn't. Te- technically, that doesn't tell you who's the IP owner because you can oh, have yeah, deals point. that the yeah, yeah, publisher just, or sorry, the developer owns the IP. Most likely, PlayStation owns the IP though. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think we've nailed that. I'm gonna put, you know, what? yeah, I'm gonna put Demon Souls. Yeah, Demon Souls. I'm, I'm pretty confident in that. I'm, so I think yeah, we've nailed it's down. either Demon Souls or the PlayStation All Stars Two. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Yeah, because it can't be both, right? Mm, yeah, it's one or the other. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't mind it. Unless they have another master. studio never, working on PlayStation I, I never played the first team. Uh, like, I never and they probably Demon have Souls. some VR games working at random oh, VR yeah, games. Yeah. I'm just going to put random VR games. Yeah. Just oh. random VR games. Dude, imagine that. Demon Souls VR. <laughs> no. You're over here trying to fight a boss <laughs> and you're trying to dodge a roll. <laughs> Vomit the whole time. Xbox 2, whatever it's called, right? Let's yep. move on to Xbox 2. Okay. Our wheelhouse. Mr. Ryan McCaffrey does put something I want to steal, right? Assassin's Creed. The new Assassin's Creed yes. that's been rumored. Yeah, the I whole think for Ragnar- sure coming I mean, on Xbox. The rumored Ragnarok one? Yeah, yeah. It's for sure coming on Xbox and PlayStation, so we can yep. add that to both lists. Yep. I think is easy. Easy one. Uh, Xbox is, of course, getting uh, Halo Guardians as a launch title. Uh, you they mean, even said that. You mean Halo... Infinite. Uh, Infinite. Sorry. Yeah. Halo Infinite. I'm thinking... Yeah. 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 Halo gotcha. Infinite, of course, right? Um, and then they're getting a new Forza game. I think that's easy. Yeah, the next one has to be a numbered one if they even keep doing it because the last one was Forza Motorsports 8. I feel like this the next the Forza... was 8? Then I, it was, no, you're it right. was eight, yeah, it was 8, then is uh, Forza Horizon. I thought it was Horizon. Horizon 4. It was. It was Forza Horizon 4, and now the next one's supposed to be a numbered one, the 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 track for one, the motorsport ones. No, you said the last one was 8 then. So how is... No, 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 the last motorsport one. There, there's two different There's two different ones. There's one that's by Playground Games, which is Horizon. Remember, there's two different Forzas. Right. Forza Horizon. Yeah. Try to say Forza Horizon. Yeah. So you don't okay. There's Forza Motorsport Eight. Okay. Which yeah. Is there's the last... two different. I know. Yeah, yeah. And then there's Forza Horizon Four, which is the latest one. So the next one has to be a Motorsport one, not a Horizon, because Horizon just came out last year. I see. Yeah. Got it. They switch. They go back and forth. No, I know they go back and forth. I thought you were saying Motorsport Eight came out last year. Oh no, that's no, what no, I was no, like. I got you, yeah. I, but how? I does... meant to say last. I like that. No, that was, I, see, yeah. I see. I see. I see. I see. Now. But I, th- gotcha. I, I think they'll change. They won't. It won't be Motorsport Nine. I don't think so. I feel like that'll be like. Forza, Forza Motorsport, like sports circuit or something, circuit. like something new. Because once you get to the nine, once you get to weird. nine, oh my god, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. But yeah, we're getting Halo Infinite. Um, the next Forza Circuit one. Um, 
Oh, Mr. Ryan McCaffrey does a weird one. Mm. Of course, NBA. I, I don't. I, I thought th- about those aren't fun. I was thinking MLB. We can put M in, N- NBA man and all the easy yeah, because I was thinking NHL, MLB. You know that those are of course is I f- forgot to bring him up, but um, he did a uh, uh, he did put Star Wars Battlefront three. Ooh. Are there rumors for that or any? I, I mean, I guess they're anything. still supporting the game, so why wouldn't they make a third one? Their uh, deal. I don't think they'll do anything because I mean, they didn't. We're, they're just now doing Jedi Fallen Order, right? So next year could give them. Cause I think the next dice makes these games, mm. right? EA uh, gets dice who makes Battlefields mm-hmm. to make Star Wars Battlefront. So I'm pretty sure they. It's not out of the realm of possibility for them to making a third game. And their deal goes up next year, too. So they want to get... It should be next year. Yeah, it, should, it definitely should be next year. Their deal should go up next year or the year after. So they're definitely going to squeeze out another Battlefront. And hope to pray it's good, I guess. I just uh, There was a thing earlier last year. It says EA hasn't decided whether Star, when Star Wars Battlefront 3 will be released. Response Star Wars games coming March 2020, which is... Uh, well, which was rumored at the time was Jedi Fallen Order. Yeah, but though. like, what would they say? Oh, yeah, it's coming out. Like, I like, yeah. Uh, of course, they don't know. Like, uh, so, I th- I think that's a a, a gimme question where like, they're, of course, oh well, we're investigating and we're gonna work as hard for our fans. Like, yeah. like that's, uh, I think that's a weird one that you can snap on to anything. Yeah. Um. Fable. Do we see it? Oh. Do we get it? Do we get Fable? Now, I, I don't yes, even think. Yes. We'll, we'll, really? We'll, we'll, yes. We'll see it. Well, oh no, we'll s- oh E uh, three, mm. we'll see it. We'll launch see it. saddle, launch window. Mm, I wish launch year. I'm thinking pre. Sorry, I'm thinking uh, like not the year, like following year launch. Launch window. So so like, I feel within like a month or two. You think you get it? So we see it at E three, and he'll. Oh, I want I him to I say. Don't think that's I want happening. him to say launch. I want to so bad. I want to believe it, um, but I feel like that's not happening. Maybe. I believe the rumors that Playground is working on the game because they oh, own IP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make them, make, well, they make a, they need to make a Fable game. Yeah, no, there was well, because there was a, there was a. I've seen a couple of leaks, well, not leaks, uh, rumors about like how, what was gonna be in the game and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. that's why they didn't show it because it was leaked or, or whatever. So I don't know if that was true because there was one. I'm gonna throw because there was something about they were going back to Albion and stuff like that. So I was well, like, they are always in Albion, yeah. so that's a weird thing. But in, well, but, it was like it was like. Before everything, I see. Yeah, it was like a past Albion. Okay. Before the first one, I think. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna throw a wrench in all of this. Mm. We know we're getting this Batman game by WB Montreal, right? Been rumored. The it, they, ba- yeah, they basically have yeah. confirmed it. Yeah. We just don't know when it's gonna be announced. We all thought it was gonna be. We'll at the see. State it. Of play. We'll see it for sure at E3. Well, sure. Well, I think, right. Of course. I'm saying think, we're, it's be gonna be announced before then, though. It could be a launch. Yeah, it could be Arkham possibly. Knight, Arkham Knight was, wasn't it? No, no, no. It was uh, the pre- well, it just it was the next year, later. I think. Really? I Should have been the next year. So like, it hit November. Oh, yeah, it probably yeah, came yeah. out in March. No, no, it was two years after because I remember the game came out. Mm-hmm. It hit. Oh, the, 2015. You're correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it would have been two years after because I remember they announced it for like Got November it. of that previous year, and it was like, "There's no way this is coming out." And they did it for like investors or something. Ago. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But they're coming out with that game. WB Montreal is making that. Do you remember? That Harry Potter game we saw. Like, oh gosh, where is that? Is that is that, that a Harry Potter game? RPG one? Because if if I'm being honest, if they're already teasing this Batman game. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's coming out before new systems. So therefore, Harry this Harry Potter game very much could be a launch game for both. Oh, we systems. just haven't seen anything because they had a, like I seen a gameplay demo of it, but it was an it was like an early. Well, build. remember that was like a yeah, it was an early build of a trailer. Yeah, but like we haven't seen that. That was two years ago, I think. No, that was probably a year ago now. Man, yeah, probably I, not. I, I, yeah, I have. No it's idea been a while, that but is. that was wild. And I think we're getting pretty close to whenever that needs to come out. Mm-hmm. And it's it's definitely going to be sooner rather than later. We're not. We're getting that game within the next two years. Mm-hmm. Maybe even three if they had complications with licensing or making the game because of the new movies or something. But. That is a great lineup. And, of course, there's some... Anna- uh, we don't know everything. I'm sure there will be unannounced stuff coming out with that. The, the crazy, you know, surprises. There'll yeah. be all those things. WWE games. All, you know, I mean, you never know what to expect yeah, at this point. Yeah, right. They can always bring bring something back to life, right? Yeah. Sweet. <clears throat> bring back Sweet. 
Skate. Whatever. <laughs> if it gives me sweet good, I'll take skate. Yeah, right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's about to close us up. Any final thoughts, Alex? Pricing. We'll, we'll end on pricing. 500. 500 for both? Yep. Me too. I, I, don't, think, I don't think they'll go over. I don't think, first off, I don't Sticker think. Sticker price would probably scare people, so I don't think they can. Yeah, either. first off, I don't think they're going to uh, make. But it's going to be least, marketed as an Xbox One X almost, I feel. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is an upgrade that it's you the, can get but don't need. And you can play, if you have an X, yeah. you can play current, uh, our new games on that or yeah. something to that effect. Yeah, I just feel like they're like with PlayStation. PS5 will be an old fashioned. This is an upgrade. Yeah, they won't do the same mistake they did with PS3 when it was six hundred dollars. No, and now is yeah, I think they've been shamed too much. out of that. Yeah, no, they can't do it. Again. Yeah, I they can't think... go up there and say five. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I remember that so much. No. I remember watching that as a kid, be like, yeah. I mean, even and I didn't even understand that as money. So I was yeah, like, what I mean, even that? like uh, what was it last year when that the blue. What was it? A two terabyte PS4, the the the, the pro, the clear kind of looking yeah. one. That was still what four forty nine. Yes, wasn't that yeah four yeah, forty nine? Yeah, and that was a two terabyte pro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no way they're going past five hundred. They're yeah, scared. They're scared. I I feel like they're not scared. No, but like they scared. really don't want to hit that five hundred yeah, mark. They, uh, yeah, I think we're getting five hundred. They're trying not to get that bullet again. <laughs> yeah, it'll be bold if they come out and say it's four hundred and it's just, and and that would be that would nuts. be wild. They're getting they're no, there's little like uh, if they take a hit on it and they're like mm-hmm. we're getting four hundred and then Xbox is like okay well we have to be four hundred now as well or we're not we're not selling Ooh. anything no, so yeah. maybe they'll take a hit because you I don't, know, of course they make X- money off the oh. game oh, with Xbox I don't think it's anything under four fifty if if anything it's between four fifty and five hundred wow so you're confident that it's I th- high, it has, high mark yeah it has to be. I agree. I mean, I agree. Xbox, five, we're getting five. Xbox five. One on release, five. Xbox One X on release, five. They, they, I mean, the only thing, I mean, okay. yeah, I mean, even the only thing I can think of is when they, because XCloud is, X Cloud is coming out. Then they have, I mean, Scarlet's coming out. Well, they're so. trying to get money off subscription service, so I can yeah, see so them cutting can, prices that's on what the I was system to, say. to get I was you like, to get on to pay your subscription. That's the only way I, I see is if they, they go, it down, hey, it's if, 400 bucks. Yeah, and then, yeah. To get you to get on that Netflix life where you forget yep. it, you pay, you pay for it, so it just yep. keeps coming That's the coming only thing is because of xCloud is where I feel like they can hit 400, but I don't think they will. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have theories going. If you have any theories yourself, Hit us up, Twitter, Twitter at Eve Mammoth, has and Twitter at Crazy Phillips Scary. We'll start a dialogue. Uh, comments below. Comments below on anything you would like to see, what we didn't mention and you think's there, what you feel in your eyeballs that might be real. Let's not forget as well, get your hand, boom, put it on your mouse key, mouse key, mouse Yep, it's scroll a key. to the bottom yep. left, click, boom, you're subscribed. Well, Thank you so much. You help us out so much. Make sure to like the video, like the podcast, help us out, put us a five-star review. Thank you guys for listening. We will see Thank you, you next week.